Hello everyone and welcome to the crouching tutorial done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies and in this video we are indeed gonna talk about crouching functionality. Um, in the last video we did, we talked about how to do sprinting and program that. And uh, so in this video we are both gonna talk about how to script the crouching itself and how to merge the crouching script with the sprinting script so that they will function together the right way. Um, and so if you missed the sprinting video, you can always go ahead and uh, look in the description. There will be a link. And uh, if you're interested in getting either the sprint, the crouch or the sprint and crouch script, you can go to our website, brackies.com and download the survival game assets. And in there, they will be included. So that was it for the long intro. As always, I have opened up Unity. And uh, as you can see, currently our player has this sprint script applied to him. Let's go ahead and just disable that for now. Let's go down to the project pane, hit create and then JavaScript. And oops, rename this to rename. So there we go. Uh, rename this to crouch or crouching, whatever you want. Just going to do crouch, double click it to open it up in Mano Develop. And remember to always drag it onto the player so that we have the script applied. And there we can see Mano Develop popping up. And if we just give it a second, I'm rendering a video in the background, so it might be a little slow. Now, uh, that was the sprint script. Let's go ahead and minimize that. And we are going to keep both the function start and the function update. So you can go ahead and space down the brackets. I just like it that way. Uh, first of all, we're going to make some variables. The first one we are going to make is going to be called walk speed. And it's going to be a type float. And it's going to be equal to, let's say, 7. So this is our regular speed. Next one is going to be called crouch speed. It's going to be a type float again. And it's going to be equal to about 3. This is our speed while crouching. So um, basically, we only need these because we want to change our speed when we are down on our knees, when we're crouching. So um, uh, that's it for that. That is for the user to declare in Unity. Um, now let's make some private variables. In these, we are going to cache a lot of data, store a lot of data that we can later access. So the first one is going to be called char motor. And it's going to be a type character motor. The next one is going to be type, uh, called private var char controller. And it's going to be a character controller. The next one is going to be another private var. The transform. And it's going to be a type transform. And the last one is going to be called, again, private var, and then char height float. And we don't need to declare a variable or a number to this yes yet. So this is going to be the initial height. Now, the reason why we are creating all of these is because in the start function, we want to store a lot of information in these. And uh, you could exclude these variables, though it would make it a lot harder on the computer because then we would have to find the character motor every time we needed to adjust something in it. And we would have to find the character controller, find the transform and uh, look after the height and so on. Um, so instead of doing that every frame or at least every time we click a button, um, we'll just do it once and that's in the start function. So we'll type char 
motor equals get component and then in the parentheses we're going to type character motor next one we're going to type the transform equals transform then we're going to type char controller equals get component character controller and then we're going to type char height equals char controller dot height and you can uh, mix up the uh, ordering of these as much as you like as long as the char height is beneath the char controller and so uh, let me just quickly explain what we are storing in these variables the char motor is the one that we are going to access whenever we want the uh, to change the speed of our um, our player the transform is uh, what we access every time we want to get stuff like the position the size the rotation and such um, so every time we want to manipulate this object we want to use the transform the char controller uh, is the character controller and it's the one that we are going to be using for checking stuff like if the the um, the uh, what what height our player is and uh, finally we have the char height which is which is going to store the height so uh, now we can go down to a function update and then here we're going to type var h and then char height and semicolon we're going to make another one var speed equals walk speed now the h is going to be by default our char height which means our initial height the speed is going to be by default our regular speed now we want something that could change these so in case of our uh, in case of the player pressing, for example, the C button to crouch, uh, we want to change the height, we want to change the speed, and uh, so let's create an if statement to find out if the player is pressing anything. So let's go input, if input dot get key, and I'm gonna type C. And again, if uh, this isn't working for you, uh, the C in the uh, uh, the, the, uh, doing it like this you can always type key code and then dot whatever you want then you're sure it's going to work but I'm just going to do it like this so C uh, and then end up the parentheses and open up some curly brackets whoops curly brackets and inside of the curly brackets I'm going to type H so the character height equals character height times 0 0.5 and so we are going to half the uh, height of our character we are simply going to make him half as um, big or as tall then we're going to type speed equals crouch speed and there you go so whenever the player presses the C key we want this variable to be ha half of what it was before and we want this speed to be equals to crouch speed so now we can move slower but this only changes variables now we are going to make these variables take effect inside of the character so we are going to write, write char and this is outside of the if statement we're going to write char motor dot movement dot max forward speed equals speed 
and then uh, semicolon. And here we are setting the max speed. So this uh, this makes it so that our speed variable, which is the one changing depending on whether we are crouching or not, um, so uh, here we are making sure that that speed variable will actually influence the speed. Uh, now we want to create a variable, so var last height equals char controller dot height. And this is going to make sure that we can stand up or crouch smoothly by uh, storing the last height, the, the height that we have right now. We, are, uh, we can use the uh, lerp function inside of Unity to smoothly transition between the two heights. Now we're going to write char controller dot height equals oops char controller dot height equals math dot lerp and inside of the lerp inside of the parentheses we are going to write character or char controller dot height comma h comma five times time dot delta time and um, I won't explain how the math dot lerp actually works though I can say that uh, it will tr transition from the current character controller height to the H. And so that's how that works. We could also do the last height equals math.lerp, but you get the idea. And uh, so we are going to write the transform dot position dot y plus equals char controller dot height minus last height divided by two. And this is going to help us fix the vertical position so that we won't fall through the floor. Now this is how our uh, script looks. And uh, that's basically it for the scripting part. Now let me try to explain what happens. So um, we have all of these variables stored. And uh, we want to do it so that if the player presses the C key, the character height um, goes... Uh, uh, becomes half of what it was before in a smooth transition and the speed gets uh, to be the crouch speed and then of course we want to fix all of the box with the vertical position that's basically what this script is doing and uh, now let me show you how this actually works in game and also the reason why we are uh, only changing the capsule collider uh, the character controllers collider and not the entire size of the game object is that if we scale it down like this uh, weapons and other things attached will also be scaled down so that if you so if you want to actually make it look like the player is crouching in game you need to create a crouching animation for him and make that play whenever we, um, we hit the C key so now hit, let's hit play and let's try to hold down these controls Oh, no, I'm, I'm sorry, the C key. And there you go. You can see that the graphics is indeed uh, like it was before. But the capsule collider itself scales down. You can see the height variable changing over here on the right hand side. 
So that's it for making the crouching functionality. Though, uh, if we try to also enable this sprint script and hit play, and I then hold down the C key to crouch, you can see that my, um, my, my speed actually doesn't change. And when I then hold down the shift key, I can even sprint while crouching. And that is indeed only because of the sprint script. So uh, they can interact weirdly. So let's merge these two scripts to make sure that they will work perfectly together. So now let's duplicate this crouch script and call this call this um, rename call this sprint and crouch like that. Double click to open up in Mono Develop. Let's go ahead and minimize the crouch. So now we want to add some more variables. We want to add the sprint speed. And I won't explain how the sprinting part works in this tutorial since uh, I have already done that in the last one. I will just show you how you can merge them so they work fine together. So var sprint speed of type float is going to be equal to about 13 and it's going to be the speed while sprinting. Um, then we are going to need a, we have the speed variable. So I guess we are going to need the sprinting parts down here. So we want to change the speed variable. And that is done by saying if char controller dot is grounded and oops and input dot get key left shift or I'll just get the signs or input dot get key get key right shift and close up the parentheses open up some brackets and inside of here we're just going to write speed equals sprint speed and so um, when our computer runs through this we are able to check um, whether or not the character is sprinting or crouching. And the way it works is that, first of all, we make a variable. And if we're not doing anything, it's just going to be walk speed. So if the character controller isn't grounded and we aren't pressing down the uh, key here and we are not crouching, it's just going to go down here and change the speed to the uh, ordinary walk speed. If we, though, are uh, sprinting, it's going to change it to the sprint speed and go down here and actually make the change. If we are sprinting, um, but also crouching, it's going to change it to crouch at the end and then change it um, in the character motor. And so the crouching will override the sprinting. Now let's see if it works. If we go ahead and hit save and go back into Unity and hit play. We can hold down the shift key and nothing happens. Let me see if I have applied. Yes, I need to apply the script to the player in order for it to work. Now let's hit play again. Hold down the shift. The player is sprinting. Crouch. The player crouches and moves slowly. And when I hold down the shift key, nothing happens. So that is it for the sprinting and crouching tutorials. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in the next video.